Today I'm going to show you how to automatically update Java on Windows 8, and actually it can be used to update other apps as well, but, um, and this work, actually does work on Windows 7 and Windows XP as well, so, uh, but I'm just going to show you how to do it in Windows 8. Um, so the first thing you need to do, to, need to do is go to ninite.com, that's N-I-N-I-T-E dot com, and then it's going to have options for apps at the bottom. Any that you click here will automatically update along with Java, but for now I'm just going to show you how to do Java. But if you have other apps here that you want to automatically update, then you can choose them as well. It's just if you have more, then it'll take a bit longer to update, but uh, it will it will work. So um, we're going to hit just hit Java for this one, and then hit Get Installer. It's going to pop up with a window at the bottom that... Uh, er, actually it might be, yeah, at the bottom, uh, to give you an option to run it or save it. You can run it and it'll update at that one time, but we're going to make it so that it can be updated at any time you choose or every time you start up your computer. So we're going to choose the save option. And it's a really small file because it's actually going to download Java every time, like it's going to download the new version of Java whenever you run it, so it doesn't actually download Java right now. So that's why it's so small. So then you go to open folder, and it should be in your downloads folder. And then once you're here, this is the file that you're looking for. Basically, anytime you run this, it's going to install the newest version of Java, or the newest version of whatever apps you have selected. So if you have a certain version of Java, and there's a newer one available, and you double-click this, like I actually don't even think I have any Java installed on here, so it's going to want to install it. Um, so it's going to download a newer version, if there is one, and since I don't have it at all, it's going to download a newer version. If you do already have the newest version, then it will just say skipped up to date over here, and you don't have to download anything. So you can run this as often as you want to check if you have the newest version or not. So it works great. Um, so one way you can keep Java up to date is just run it every time that you feel like Java needs to be updated or any time it pops up with that window saying that you need to update it or you can make it so that it updates every time you start your computer. If you want to do that, then I'll show you how to do that quickly here. Um, basically, you're just going to need to drag this, fol this file into the Windows Startup folder, and I'll show you where that is. Um, it's easy to get to if you have the Windows Start button, but in, if you want to get the Start button back, check out my other video on how to do that. Uh, but you can do it without the Start button too. It's this Startup folder here, so the path to it is this long amount of stuff up here, and you'll need to enable hidden folders to get to it. Just kind of annoying. Uh, so basically, I'll, I'll show you how to get to it right now. Um, so if you're just at your like regular computer screen, click on your hard drive that has all your stuff on it, and then click on the users folder, and then your username. And then here, you need to go into a folder up at the top that's called app data, and you see how it's like blanked out? That's because it's a hidden folder, so if you don't see it there, you're going to need to enable hidden folders. And to do that, you just need to go to View, and then over to the right, Hidden Items, you need to check that. See, once it's checked, then App Data shows up. Go into the App Data, and then it's going to be Roaming, and then Microsoft, Windows, Start Menu, and if you're having a hard time seeing this, uh, at the bottom right of the YouTube video, there's a way to turn up the quality, and then you'll be able to see these paths really well. So, um, Then Programs, and then Startup. So then once you have that Startup folder open, right here, uh, you might see some other stuff in there. It's just basically stuff that starts at when Windows is starting up. Uh, and then you just drag this right into it. And then every time your computer starts up, Ninite will open and check if Java needs to be updated, or if you have other apps selected, it'll check if those need to be updated. So super simple. You, so you can either run it by clicking on it and check if you need a new update that way, or just every time you start up your computer. Either way, very simple.